Scottish Premiership The Observer Lee Griffith's goal earns Celtic narrow victory over Hibs Lee. Griffiths scored for Celtic before being taken off injured in the game against Hibs. Photograph. Andrew Milligan, PA. Lee Griffiths scored against former club and boyhood heroes Hibernian for the first time to give Celtic a narrow win. In Brendan Rodgers' 100th game as Celtic manager the returning striker struck in the 27th minute. Before an injury soon after meant he was replaced by Musa Dembel. Griffith's 14th goal of the season was enough to take all three points in what Rodgers called a functional performance against a more than decent Hibs side who had drawn 2-2 with Celtic in their previous two league games this season. The Scotland striker who did not feature in the Scottish Cup win against Brecon but recovered from an ankle knock to come off the bench to score the winner at Partick on Tuesday and there is no Surprise that he replaced Odson Edward. In other changes, the defender Jozo Samunovic came in for Michael Lustig with centre-back Dedrick Boyata moving to right back. Ali Shaw replaced Simon Murray for the visitors who looked far from overawed in the early stages. However, Celtic should have taken the lead in the 14th minute after Callum McGregor was fouled by the former Celt Dylan McGouch who had an excellent game. Just outside the box, Griffith's curling free kick was parried by Ophir Marciano and with the goal gaping Sinclair. Somehow managed to hit the post with the ball ending up in the arms of the Hibs keeper. The match opened up further and Griffiths volleyed wide from a Sinclair cutback. At the other end, the Celtic keeper, Craig Gordon, used his foot to block a Brandon Barker drive after the striker had outstripped the defense. Hibbs had themselves to blame for the goal. Paul Hanlon failed to deal properly with a Kieran Tierney cross from the left. His weak-headed clearance immediately returned on the angle past Marciano by Griffiths with Darren. McGregor unable to stop it crossing the line. There was a muted celebration from the Hibs supporting Griffiths in front of the travelling fans. And nine minutes later he limped off. Dimble came on for his first action this year with Rodgers having recently expressed concern that transfer speculation had affected him and the striker ended the afternoon with a booking for simulation. Gordon, who had been clattered by the former Celtic player F.A. Ambrose before the break, was replaced by Doris de Vries for the start of the second half when Celtic looked more purposeful. In the 51st minute Sinclair had another good chance but Marciano saved the drive from 10 yards with his leg. John McGinn forced a decent save from de Vries with a powerful 25-yard drive in the 78th minute and the match swung to and fro in the final. Nervy minutes. Roundup. Aberdeen fought back from a goal down to defeat Kilmarnock 3-1 and returned to second in the Scottish Premiership. After falling behind to Chris Boyd's close-range finish on his 300th appearance for Killy, Scott McKenna level just after the interval to start the revival before his spectacular left foot shot put the home side ahead and Niall McGinn sealed the win when he collected the ball in his own half before scoring a stunning solo goal. A.J. Leach Smith's goal seven minutes into stoppage time snatched a 2-1 win for Dundee at Hamilton. Mark O'Hara's own goal had put the Dark Blues in trouble at the Super Seal Stadium after 90 seconds. But with Axies a man light after David Templeton was sent off for two quickfire bookings. 18-year-old Matthew Henvey's first senior goal put them level with 13 minutes left before Leach Smith popped up at the death to claim the points. Hearts lost their clean sheet record as the Motherwell striker Curtis Main equalized in the sixth minute of added time in a 1-1 draw at Tynecastle. David Milinkovic had opened the scoring in the 80th minute when he fired home after Andy Irving's. Free kick from the right broke to him 12 yards out. Connor Salmon continued his goal-scoring streak as Partick Thistle picked up a deserved 3-1 win over St. Johnston. The Jags have won four of their past six games in all competitions and they were comfortably the better side at McDermott Park.
with Stephen Lawless on target before Salmon hit the second goal. Liam Craig pulled a goal back from the penalty spot to ensure a tense finale. But Ryan Edwards's stoppage time goal made certain of the three points for Thistle. Niall Briggs, 